Hey everybody, Snigby here from Snigby Gaming. Getting ready to actually do the preliminary quests for the chicken run. Um, this is the month of the chicken. I've been away from uh, the game for a little bit and wanted to get back into it doing something a little bit uh, silly. <laughs> um, actually, a little bit challenging when you all, all get done with it. Um, but what I'm going to do is the, is the chicken run. And, and the chicken run is, well, I think I'll just play it and we'll, we'll go through that. So there's a few uh, preliminary quests here that we have to do. Wald Sanderson, I'm actually here at Sanderson Farms in the Shire, uh, getting ready to, to walk through this. And he really needs some help here. Might I speak with you a moment? And so basically he's going to ask me to replace these eggs in the proper nest. Um, however, I have to put them in the right order. Um, so I'll go ahead and accept that. And... Uh, we got to go find the, the the right way to go. And as we come across here, you'll see there's a lot of hens, a lot of things going on. And here's uh, Pimpinella's nest. You got Teletime's nest, uh, Bellflower, Cincinella. Now there's four or five nests here that I need to uh, figure out. So let's take a quick peek here and see if there's any quests here or any suggestions. And there really isn't. Um, you almost have to, to guess which one is which. Now, I am going to actually be a little bit cheaty here. I have up on my other screen the spoilers. And basically, uh, Pimpinella's nest is first. Then I need to go find Bellflower um, and give her her egg, make her happy. So we'll go ahead and do that. After that, then I need to run over and find Cincinella. I think she's over here. Come on, use it. I think I clicked on the chicken, not her nest. Alright, then I need to do tell time. Tell time. I used to work for a company that sold a product called Telly Time. Um, and then the last one is Moonlight, and I don't, there's Moonlight, so we'll come over here and take care of Moonlights, and it looks like I completed it, so Wald's going to be happy with me, uh, you got him, I get a prize pie, hmm, and with me being a hobbit, I'm just going to go eat the pie. Oh, I just get to show off the pie. Oh, it's a beautiful pie. Okay. So the next one is examine Bellinina. Um, she's the best egg layer. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, see what this is. This is just a, an instance, so we'll walk through there. Excuse me. Where is Billy? I don't see Billy. Oh, there she is. Look up here at the mini map. She's on the the ring here. There you are. I'm too busy. And we'll go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm a noble chicken. Yep, that's cool. Collect earthworms. I got 20 minutes to do this. Now, if you'll notice these biting shrews that we've seen in the past. They are uh, they're, they're kind of kind of interesting there. Now I do have this thing called foul fleetness. So if you look, I'm going to go ahead and walk this way. I can do that. I'm running really fast. Woo! Get away from people. Okay. Um, that lasts for a little bit, 20-30 seconds. I got a red fox over here. I need to stay away from as well. 
So I can come over here and check these uh, mounds of dirt for a earthworm. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and keep looking around, see what's going on. And nothing's there. But I'm going to go ahead and use my gaze here and see if I can... Do that. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. <clears throat> it's very, very cautious when you're doing this. Seek. What's this one? That must. It's a wolf. I think I actually have to click this and, and scratch to make it work. We'll see. Yep, that's what I got to do. Now, a coney is not um, not a hostile mop, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but I want to go ahead and do this because did I miss it? Yes, I missed it. Alright, let's get over to this mound of dirt first. We'll do that, then we'll do that. See if that works. Alright, got some earthworms. Looks like there's some earthworms up here. Look fairly safe. Oh, there's a snarling wolf. Don't want to get closer to that if I can keep from it. Okay, stay away from the shrew. Stay away from the fox. Do that. Do that. And let's see if we can complete this thing up. No. Oh, Lordy. I guess this is the one. Dirt over here. I got some more mounds of dirt out there, so. Stay away from the shrews, stay away from them. All right, talk to Bill Arena. See if I can get over there without getting caught. Use the speed. Woo! I am... I am a bird. I can fly. I can fly! Gonna be logged out in just a second.
and there we go. All right, so we are on to the next one. This is going to be the instance of the sky is falling. All right, so I probably ought to go talk here to Wald. Just a moment. You just hungry? Yay, good. All right. Could I take a moment of your time? She's eating again. She looks upset. Pottles will be fussing. Gets exciting. Maybe you can help her. Okay. Now let's go see what's going on with uh, Billy here. She's agitated about something. Let's go ahead and play. Visit three chickens in the Shire heading east, avoiding wolves. All right. I know that. So what I need to do here, I've got the bob and weave, which is of evasion and fat, and I have my speed. So I can go ahead and kick on the speed, and let's see if we can figure out where all the hostile mobs are, and that's basically everything. Watch the mini-map for the red dots. Stay away from the red dots. There's a lot of wolves over here. Okay, where do I need to go to get around the wolves? It's a pretty butterfly. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. There's a chicken roost right up here on top. Alrighty. Wolves, of course I've seen the wolves. Have you looked around? Almost the entire coop was taken. There have been some folk carried off the survivors down at Waymeat. Alright, so let's continue that. I think we need to go to Waymeat. Um, let's see if we can get out there, so. No bad critters ye around right now. Go ahead and just press 1 so that whenever I come off a of cooldown, it'll kick me and I can run really fast. Alright, there's a Tusker. Don't want to get in the close to that. Some Shire folk, hopefully I don't need a chicken for their pot. So this is what Chicken Run is all about. Basically, you are a chicken, level one. Everything is out to get you, so you just have to run around. But you're kind of a cute little chicken, aren't you? I only got an hour to get this done, so shouldn't take near that long, but we'll go ahead and 145 meters. Again, I'm not seeing any sort of critters here, so I'm pretty good. Looks like it's a little more peaceful down here. Maybe I can let everybody know about that. Wolves here in the Shire. Wolves not dare to venture this side. Oh, don't really know what we could do about such an attack. Anything we do, give our regards. Alright. Now we gotta go find Farmer Maggot, and he is a long way away. Thousand meters. Kilometer. Uh, that away. Oh man. Okay, so, oops, there's the gnats. We don't want to do that. I don't know if the gnats can hurt you or not. But, 
we definitely don't want to get on their bad side. So what's everybody think about being a chicken? Hmm. Ooh. Stay up here just a little bit. Looks like my super speed is wearing off here in about three or four seconds. I wonder if only the hostile mobs or the critters or if the People that are hostile are hostile too. I don't remember. Let's see who's here. Yeah, it looks like that's a hostile mob, and it's probably the. Yeah, it's a brigand. I'll go around this way. No use in taking a chance. It's a red dot on the on the top here. We don't want that. Little campsite here. Maybe I can swim a little bit. Look at that. Look at that little chicken. Hello, chicken. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Hello, chicken. I know I'm safe here. That's why I'm looking at myself. If I can get out of here. I can. Kick off the run here for us. I'm going to press numlock and that will let me pull my hands away from the keyboard for just a second. So I don't get the carpal tunnel stress syndrome. So, uh, Doe's not worried about. There's a red fox up there. It's not red, but I'm not going to trust him. So let's continue the run here. Roar. I could jump in the water and just follow the water around. Might do that. See if there's anything in my way here. I don't see anything. Coney, Doe, not worried about those. am in the corn and here we go what's that wolves no of course not here in the shower I've heard rumors of them yes but they're just that rumors chicken gets to talking you know with all fanciful stories the only wolf in this form is a dog of course the farmers dogs maybe why we have no wolves they're good protectors all right very good so got to do that one um, and now we're going to do the flying the coop. Come on. Thank you, Billina. You're still waiting for something. Let's see what we can do here. Wald, how can I help you? Hello. Much calmer? See an old rooster on the farm? I thought I saw one. I'm never got a good look at it. Please, stay right. a moment. Let's just examine George. Where's George? George, George. George of the Satyrs of Farms? <laughs> Oh, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Alright. Chicken run. There's only 20 slots open. There's a lot of people online actually getting ready for a big chicken run event tonight. It's a 8-hour 
marathon run. Um, love to do that. Might do that eventually. Probably not right away. But, um, okay. So we got to talk to the critters in the Shire. I've got an hour to do this. And looks like I'm going about a kilometer down here. And I have basically everything. Um, don't know what that is. Paranoia. Play dead. Ugh. I guess if you're dead, nobody bothers you. Paranoia. Don't know what paranoia does. Your stealth detection is greatly increased. And we know what Bob Weave does. Alright, and we know what the fast run does. Alright. I shouldn't need those things that are on cooldown right away, but I just wanted to see what they did. Forgot that. Play dead. Uh-oh. Don't, uh, don't run into the red dots. Look it up here at the minimap again. I know there's ways that you can actually go on the roads, be, maybe a little bit safer, but I just like to run straight there if I can. Doesn't take as long. I'm looking up here at the mini map quite a bit, making sure I'm not running into these angry tuskers. Don't run into any wolves. Numlock is pressed. I was reading some notes here, and it says you can use the stuck command if you get if you fall down on a place and get stuck. Um, however, I don't want to try it. This takes longer, long enough. Ooh, a bounder defeated a wild tusker. Was there a tusker on my tail and I didn't notice it? And the bounder took care of me? Awesome, dudes. I'm glad I'm a bounder. Well, I'm not a bounder. I'm actually a chicken. But you know what I mean. Whoops, don't go that way. That's closer. Whoa. I'm actually coming down here. I'm going to see if I can track somebody down. Old Sally. Hey, Old Sally. How you to go? I'm a pig. I was a tussle wish I was a pony. All right. Well, there's a hill tusker right there. I don't want to mess with that. Ooh, bears. Not good. So what I'm noticing right now is I'm not being stalked because I'm able to stay away from most of the detection radius. Later on, as we run some of these other quests and you start meeting higher level mobs. Uh, basically, they can detect you further and further away. So, you may be out of normal detection range, so you know, if you think about it, maybe I have a 30 meter detection range, but the higher level mobs can see this level 1 critter at like 100 meters away, or 60 meters away, you know, double the detection range. So, you have to be really careful and Honestly, when you're running these events, you do need to find a partner to run them with or run them during one of these group events when they're going to have people stationed around escorting the chickens. Um, and if you ever see a chicken running down the road and you're like, where'd that chicken come from? Um, just uh, run with it a little bit. And what's this? 
First three hobbits sleeping in a forest, now a chicken. You want me to help? Friends don't sit or eat. She particularly says chicken is high among my dietary choices. So you're brave enough to speak to me in the first place. I'll forgo my lunch for now. Well, thanks, Fox. Let's go ahead and continue on our merry way. I'm going to jump off the bridge and jump in the water. Go ahead and click the fast run so when we get comes off a cool down, we're ready to go. I think I only have to talk to the three critters. Yep, back down here. Um, I won't jump off the, the river here, but I will jump into the river once we get around the, uh, the waterfall. I don't know if that would kill me. I'm just a level one critter. It's interesting that it's raining in the Shire and it's actually been raining here at my home this morning. Summertime rains, a uh, thunderstorm popped up, been very hot and humid, um, still very hot and humid, so didn't cool us down very much. But it did give the grass a little drink and hopefully I'll be able to get out and mow it next weekend or something. We shall see. Oh, there goes the chicken run. On your way, continue quest. Grip. Wolves never come here. Come here, buddy. Don't run away. <sighs> wolf, come back. Come back, wolf. All right. So, finish that one. And there we go. So, at this point, I am ready to do all the instances of flying the coop. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, little walkthrough of the initial quest for the chicken run. The next thing that I'm going to do here is finish this up. We're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to run the, the Breland one. Um, it's kind of fun. Hello. It's fairly easy. And that's all there is to it. So what do I need to do here? I can complete them in any order. Um, so let's see if they're in my deed log. No. Where are the instances at? Flying the Coop Reland. Examine George. Okay, so George is now my uh, my primary contact. Um, go ahead and fly in the crew Freeland. But I'm going to put a cut here. Uh, looks like I've been doing this for about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded. Um, if you like this content, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, a like. Uh, it sure does make me... Uh, understand that you guys are liking this content, want to see more. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, little bitty, uh, little vignettes of these uh, quests here. By the way, there are, let's see here, Breland, Eridlon, Evendon, Lonelands, North Downs, and Trollshaws. 
there's a lot that goes into that. The Troll Shaws, by the way, takes you all the way to Rivendell. And that's pretty, uh, pretty good uh, run out there. Uh, then you actually get to come back, and there's the Return to the Wall, the Great Wide Open, which, and then you've got the Free Range. So the Great Wide Open, uh, basically, where does it all take you? Um, through Lone Lands, Aragon, Dunland, Rowan, Pass of the Dead, Western Gondor, Central Gondor, Eastern Gondor, Pelennor, and reach the prow of Minas Tirith and simply walk off the edge. Jump or use Flower Feet, and this may cause you to miss the trigger location. So that's a very long one as well. I mean, you have to go all the way to basically Minas Tirith. Uh, so if we bring that map up, it's a long, long way. Because you got to go down through Dunland. And once you get through Isengard, um, you got to go through Rohan. Once you make it through Rohan, uh, there's the Iron Hills. There's Gondor. You make your way all the way through Gondor and actually make it to Minas Tirith, and you come and you jump off of here. That's a long way. Okay, and you get to Pelennor Fields out here as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop here. Uh, thanks for uh, staying with me on this um, as we go through the next few days of uh, running this. Uh, looks like on the... Hmm, give me one second here. Yeah, so... If I change this and drag this over, and it looks like there are a few little events going on. Uh, Tuesday, they're basically doing what I just went through. Basic quest, get them out of the way. Uh, Wednesday is a, uh, that's this week. Uh, Wednesday of this week, they're doing a story storytelling. Uh, Thursday, they're going to do Arid Lun. Um, again, like I said, Arid Lun was the, uh, uh, this one here. Um, then you move into uh, Erebor Run. That's a golden chicken. I'm not a golden chicken yet. Then you do the Breland, Evenden, uh, Minas Tirith Run, uh, Lonelands, and then uh, Trolls by Night, Rivendell. So I'm going to see if I can make these. I know that Tuesday night I'm, I have an appointment. That's why I wanted to uh, get that out of the way. I'm also going to go ahead and run the uh, uh, Breland here uh, next. And um, after that, we'll uh, see if we can jump on some of these uh, as we go on through here. Uh, this one, I actually have a meeting on Tuesday, um, taking me out of town. Don't know if I'll be able to uh, uh, do that, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can get that done, too. So anyway, this is Sneakbee signing off. Everybody have a great day, and uh, see you uh, tomorrow. Goodbye.